Hey guys, this is Premium Poppy. God bless, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, I know I am. Welcome back to Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. I want to show you guys a appearance. <coughs> Excuse me. So, come down here to Laird Armor. I got my first Laird Armor set. This is actually from, I believe, like the first episode. So, that's pretty cool. I honestly have no point to wear that right now, because I don't think it looks the greatest, especially when it's snowing out. So, just... Ease off the brakes a little bit. I'm just joking. No. Um, it's a very overcast day. Head off from work. I can't complain. So, our goal is to head to the Lavina Mine, which is all the way over there. Um, yeah, we're all set. So let's just keep going. Loloska. All right. But yeah, we're gonna continue on with the story. I have been really, I've been really enjoying the game so far, you know? I say it so much almost in every episode I play this, but man, there's just something about this game that is just awesome. I don't know. There we go, there's that. Oh yeah, I also bought a lot of uh, herbs, because I, because I can, I had extra money, so. Come on, Avinia. Let's get going. We have a mission to accomplish. Alright, where is this mine? All the way this way. Probably could save time. Oh yeah, we definitely saved a bit of time. Well, let's head over here. That's a great baggie. I want to dodge that guy. Ooh, a binding talisman. Small. And stones. Alright. There's also another rare drop right down there. Uh, a rare mining outcrop. Oh, there's another one. Sleeping Toad I saw. Oh, come on. I I'm just trying to collect as many items as I can right now. We get it all? We did. Alright, Lavinia Mine Cave. Here we go. Yeah, it's a very overcast day right now. It's not the greatest looking outside. It's so cold! My whiskers are frozen stiff! How come you don't feel the chill? I have Frostfang, so I'm alright. I see! He keeps you warm! By the way, Frostfang is a pretty cool name. When did you come up with it? When I met him for the second time. Uh, what did you call him before then? Fuzzfangs. Say what? He was so cute and fluffy. It was the first thing that came to my mind. And you bonded with Fuzzfang... I mean, Frostfang, when you met again. That's right. It was a very cold day, like today. I'm freezing. Oh no. There's a monster here. Huh? A Barrios? Why did you... Hold on. Is that you, Fuzzfangs? I'm so happy to see you again. But you're all grown up. Fuzzfangs doesn't suit you anymore. Why don't I call you... Frostfang? Frostfang, would you like to come with me? That's when we bonded. That's so touching! I almost teared up! Frosty places always remind me of that day. Anyway, let's keep going. Interesting, very interesting. Uh, that, um, the little cutscene with the, uh, with the, uh, little photos, it reminded me a lot of stories in the outfit and the, the look that Aviana had. The Avinia, excuse me. Avinia had. So, that's always cool. Alright, I guess we're just going to explore this area. Explore Lavinia Mine. Alright. Lavinia, Avinia. Pretty cool. There's a lot of mining, mining outcrops here, and I mean a lot. I mean, it is a mine, so... 
I can't really complain too much. Alright, there we go. Anything over here? There is. Some chill shrooms. Nice. Um. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a lot over here. Yeah, nothing really. So. I guess we'll just keep going then. I, with, I, re, I wish Rathalos would move a little bit faster. He's a little bit slow, you know? Excuse me, Razoring Ratha. What am I saying? Yeah, even the berry off moves fast. Uh, where is it? Sorry, ah, come on. There we go. Looks like there's a baggie over there. Great baggie, too. Oh, the jukes. Oh. The jukes. Too fast for you. Bye bye. Alright, but yeah, um. Uh, alright, some Zamite. Don't we have a quest? Yeah, we gotta fight some Zamites. Let me fight them. That wasn't bad. That was actually quite simple. You did it! Zamite are uh, technical attacking monsters, so. And we also only need to defeat three more, which is not too bad. So. Um, let's head this way. Alright. So it looks like there is a, a treasure chest back there. I want to go get that, so. Yeah, but it's been a really muggy day out. Um, we're supposed to go to work today, but I was called out. So they're like, hey, we don't need you right now, so enjoy your day. I'm like, oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Oh, that's scary. Ah! Oh, that was terrifying. There's nothing I could do. I'm just going to run away. Narkaku moves so slow when he's running away. He's the fast ninja. But he isn't. Don't we have a monster that could help us out? Where does this even lead? No, we have no point to do that. We could just literally go right around and call it good. And there's a rare, uh, bone pile here. So. Nothing over there. There's just so many mining places here. It's incredible. Wow, that's a lot. Did we miss one? No, we didn't. Okay. Oh, there's a mining place down here, too. A guard heal and bomber. Ooh, I, I want to take a look at that, though. I want to see what the guard heal is. Recover some HP and boost blast blight. Ooh, if we get Blast Blight, does that mean there's going to be a Brachidios? Yeah, Brachidios is just a monster that likes to blow things up with its uh, slimy fists, so. And we also can head all the way back here and head down that last corridor we saw. I do admit, this is a really, really big mine, so. I, when we were younger, we used to have this garden. Um, it was really big, and we got a really, really bad storm one time. And when we had the storm, I remember I was so terrified. I didn't expect to see so many paths blocked up. Where's this troublemaker monster gone? There's more debris further. Okay. Good idea. Let's give it a go. Anyway, as I was saying, it was storming really badly one night. Thunder and lightning. And we had neighbors, and I was so scared. My dad would have to go check on the farm and stuff. And I didn't see it. I didn't see my dad. And I started crying and screaming my eyes out like... Dad, where are you? Dad, where are you? And I remember we went up to our neighbors and we're like, I can't find Dad. Is he okay? And my heart was literally pounding so bad. My dad calls the neighbors like, we're fine. We just literally were uh, checking the garden to make sure everything was still good. I was like, okay. But I was, I was, I was a toddler when I was younger and it was really funny because of how immature I used to be. A Herkidrome, that's not bad. But I remember that. It was, I also had some very interesting dreams. You ever have those dreams, guys, where it's just really interesting? Ooh, a bear off. Um, I'm going to pull the card and pull out Rathalos. So this is the culprit behind the broken rocks. We got it now, buddy. You ready? Ooh, 
We already got a Baroth, so... Baroth, I know it isn't your fault, but I have to protect my home. We're not done rebuilding yet. We're not able to sit... We're not about to sit by and let it, uh, the troubled merchant any longer either. Yep. I'm guessing this is a... Oh no, it's a speed monster. What? I had no idea. Wow. This doesn't look like a speed monster. Well... We'll just have to use technical attacks. There's been a lot of, uh... I had, like... The last two episodes have been very, very long, and I apologize for that. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try and make these episodes a little bit shorter. The next few episodes a little shorter, so... I'm just gonna brush right in and... Get all the work done. I find it funny, also, how the monsters usually go for speed, or... Excuse me, like, I was yelling. Like, um, Frostbane usually goes with a speed attack, but when it has to go for a technical, it goes for the, alright, water element. When they're not in the mud, fire element. So let's try and switch out our weapons. And now, we'll just stick with what we have. What I was saying was, it's funny how the bear op uses, oh, so it switched now. When it's in mud, it switches, okay, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway, yeah. Let's go to a... Ooh, a head, body, legs, tail. Let's go ahead. Ooh, all that damage. You gotta love it. Dang, dude. Alright. Let's go again. Come on. Focus fire on the head. Nope. It's so close, but it isn't. I'll go for the body. Someone's bound to go for the head. And if not, I'll be, uh, kind of upset. Wow. No one went for the head. At least, we need to get Thor. He'll go for the head. So. Alright. That's it. So, oh, so when it uses that mud attack, it won't have mud anymore on it. Okay, that makes sense. Each monster takes a little bit of time to learn, but once you learn it, it's pretty simple. Boom. Just like that. All the damage we're doing on this thing. Wow. Man, Avidia and the Hunting Horn is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I can't wait for the rest of the story has, honestly. Also, I could read on um, 1 Kings 8, uh, 57 through 58. May the Lord our God be with us, as he was with our fathers. He may never leave us nor forsake us. Uh, let's switch to this. There we go. May he turn our hearts to him, to walk yeah. in all his ways, and to keep the commandments, the decrees, and regulations he gave our fathers. The Lord will never change, folks. He's always going to remain the same no matter where we are or what we go through. Yeah. He, he will never change who he is or what, what he is. You know? Thank you. You fought with grace and determination. Now we can carry on rep repairing stronger. the village. We're gonna get some Baroth armor. I never really liked the Baroth armor. I thought it was really, eh. We did it, buddy! Now the Popo can get through the cave, and the shop can keep on running. Thanks for your help. Getting the shop back to normal will mean a lot to the owner, and it'll bring back some hustle and bustle to our village. Your village has come a long way since it was destroyed. It must have been really hard on you. It was. Although, Frostfang and I spent some time away from the village, too. Really? Why, if you don't mind me asking? When I came back to the village with Frostfang, after we bonded... Listen, everyone! Avinia, move away from that monster! We can't sustain any more damage to the village! He won't do any harm! How do you know it's not blighted? It's too much risk! We won't allow it! If he's not allowed in the village, 
Then I'm leaving too. And so I left my beloved village, so that I might stay together with Frostfang. I... I can't believe they didn't trust you and your monstie! The Black Blight didn't just destroy our village. It also destroyed people's trust in monsters. Probably killed people too. That's terrible! Seeing you and Ratha makes me remember how it felt to be with Frostfang back then. But no matter what happens, you must believe in your monstie. We'll prove that Ratha has nothing to do with that spooky legend. You'll see! Okay, gang, it's back to the chief! Ah, uh, my paws are sore from walking. Let me hop on, Fuzzfangs! Just eat him. Hey! No need to be so frosty with me! Eat him. Just please eat him. Do it, you won't. Eat him. Please, Frostfang. Eat him. Eat Naviru. Get rid of the monster. He's a disgrace to our land. Um, well. Uh, yeah, we gotta head all the way back. I believe there is a way <clears throat> where we can, if you give me a second. No, we can't. I thought we could. Usually there's a way where you can fast travel, but it looks like we gotta go all the way back. So. Here we go. Honestly, I don't I don't blame the villagers for being so petrified of the monsters. I mean, think about it. Most of the most of the monsters were black blighted when they attacked the village. And once they attacked the village, people probably died. There were probably lots of lots of injuries sustained as well. Not only that, but the Black Blight left people homeless. And while people are homeless, you know, they, you do what you can to survive. And now, we gotta worry about this, uh, Razoring Rathalos causing destruction and chaos to the world, and we don't want that. So we're trying to get, uh, to a person called Old Dede, or Old Dede, so he can suppress this monster's powers. Looks like there's another path down here. I do want to go see what this path is all about. Maybe there'll be something cool over here. Uh, let me let me switch out to my Nergakuga. There is a chest over here. Oh no, you don't. Psych, we're faster than you, nerd. All right. Nope. Alright, there we go. Man, we're getting so many materials right now. It's insane. It's insane in the membrane. Haha, <laughs> my name is Zane. Oh, I'm so stupid and cringy and I... I am sorry you guys have to listen to me. There's a rare mining outcrop over there. I probably could go get it. Um, nah, I don't, I don't have a point. I'm going back the wrong way. I'm just all over the place today, guys. I apologize and so much in advance. There we go. We made it back to the exit. At last. Yeah, I apologize. I'm all over the place. There we go. Alright, now we can head back to the village. You know, while I'm here, they keep saying that they're going to fix the windmill. And the windmill, they have all the parts to fix it. But the windmill is still not working. Interesting, very interesting and spooky indeed. Kinda sketchy if you ask me. What were those parts really for? Alright, let's go talk to the merchant and see what we can do. Actually, no, we gotta go talk to the uh, Chief Dual. It'd be kinda cool also to get some layered armor for, um. Yeah, for the, for the different villages. Wear what the villagers wear. I think that'd be kind of cool. Hey, chief, we got you the merchant. We got your merchant sorted out. Splendid. I can't thank you enough. So on, on to the next task. Wait, what? There's more? I want you to gather materials from the Toby Gadachi found in Loloska Rocky Canyon. Static electricity from its fur 
could power our windmills, if only we were to catch the slippery critter. In that case, we can track down that monster and collect its fur. Bro! Soaring Bolt. Chief Dual requests more materials to complete the windmills. The finishing touch of Koan's restoration. You head to Loloska Rocky Canyon for materials as the thought of happy villagers seeing the spinning windmills fills your mind. Wonderful. I can't truly thank you enough, my friends. Please th take this as a token of gratitude. Okay. Mega Potion Recipe. Oh, nice! Not only that, but dude, I love Toby Gatachi. Oh, one of my favorite monsters is Toby Gatachi. I just love the way they look. I mean, clearly, the, I like other monsters a lot, but Toby Gatachi is one of my most memorable ones. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. G Shut up, Naviru. I, mm, I just want to. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna not eat you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw you in the fire. God bless, guys. <laughs>